So one of the ideas we had was the noticing the noir elements, was to bring back a kind of vintage 1940s style, uh, the kind of thing that we would see with Bogart and Lauren Bacall, uh, the idea of a double-breasted jacket and a suit and tie, and that this would be for women as well as men. So we would still have a gender-neutral costume, um, but it would have a very clear link to um, the the noir theme that we were going for. Something that's been maybe represented in the past by films like Gattaca, for example, that was probably quite a heavy influence on, on the look of this, but equally trying to keep the film recognisable. So although it's set 200 years in the future, we didn't want it to be suddenly completely unrecognisable future, like Star Trek, Star Wars or anything like that. It still had to represent a contemporary world, but something you know, that we, people would be able to look at and instantly understand what it is. And because we're not a mega budget film, we also had to use that to our advantage as well, so using existing locations. I like the idea of realistic sci-fi, like say uh, the aesthetic used in Battlestar Galactica for example. It looked like it could exist and I think that's an important part of selling any film, especially sci-fi, is that you create a world that you can believe. You don't have to suspend disbelief to the point that you're going, okay that looks cool but I don't believe for a second that could ever be a thing.